Yo, what's up, guys? So let me ask you a question. Have you ever been in a situation where, you know, you're maybe at a party or some kind of family get-together or some kind of, you know, you know, some kind of social uh, setting? And somebody who knows that you do card tricks comes up to you with their shiny new deck of cards that they just got at the gas station and says, Hey, will you please show us some card tricks? And in that moment, you suddenly forget everything you've ever learned about card magic. You even forget all of the tricks I've taught you. How could you? I've been in that situation more times than I can count, and uh, this trick I'm about to teach you has just been my saving grace for those moments. It is in the uh, Hoffinster Aces variety, and uh, it's completely impromptu. All you need is a deck of cards that at least has the four aces in it, and uh, you're good to go. Let's get into it. All right, here is a version of the Hoffinster card problem, or the ace problem, all right? So I just call it Easy Hoff. I mean, I just called that right now. I've just been doing this for years. I came up with it a lot of years ago, but it's always the one I do, all right? So what's gonna happen is, uh, well, I'll just do it, all right? So let's say the spectator chose a card, and maybe that one right there, I won't look, and we'll just uh, throw it back somewhere in the middle of the deck right around there, all right? So, it would be pretty hard for me to find that card on my own, all right? So what I'll do instead is I'll take out some cards to use that might make it a little bit easier, all right? So we'll take that one, maybe that one. Let's see, go for two more, that one, and that one. Yeah, I think these will be good. All right, so what I have here uh, are the aces, all right? So the reason why I use the aces is because, well, Two of them are the same color as the card that you just saw, but only one of them uh, is the same suit, all right? So what we're gonna do is I'll put these right here. And what I want you to do is just focus on the ace that matches your card in color, all right? So focus on one ace. Uh, focus, on, focus on the ace that matches the suit of your card, all right? So you're focusing on one color, focusing on one single ace now, all right? So just focus on that, focus on that ace, all right? So I think, uh, let's see, I think if I, Doing this right, my gut is telling me that the ace you're thinking of right now is the ace of clubs. Am I right? Is that is that is that fair to say? But uh, what if I did this? What if I made a one card in the deck turn face down? Let's see what it is. Moment of truth. One card. Could it be? Oh wait a minute. That's weird. You were thinking of the ace of clubs. Well, that is the ace of clubs. Over here, under the box, the whole time has been one face down card in the middle of those aces. One card, the Queen of Clubs. All right, so there is no setup for this trick. It's completely impromptu. So the only thing you're gonna do is have a card selected and control to the top, all right? So what I did is Paul Harris's flip flop, uh, flip flop plot move. <laughs> That's always a tongue twister, where you show the card I've had it before. One of my favorite controls, so the card's on top. Now what you're gonna do is, you know, say things like, it would be hard to find your card on my own, so I'm going to, you know, use a few cards to make it a little bit easier. All right, so what you're gonna do is turn the deck over face up, and before you say you're gonna take aces out, you just wanna take a peek at that top card, which is gonna be their card, and if it happens to be an ace, uh, just use different cards like kings. And this peek serves two purposes, you know, if, if it is an ace, don't use aces. And also you need to know the suit of this card, all right? So once you know that it's uh, spades, now you can uh, take, just go and take the aces out, all right? So take the aces out like this, one by one, updrugging them like this. Um, as soon as you take them all out, uh, strip them out like this. Now you want to, uh, whatever suit their card was, you wanna have that uh, suit ace of the suit on top of the packet like this on the face. It's a very natural sort of thing to do to, you know, fiddle around with the aces uh, to get the right one to the top. Or don't make any, you know, you don't call attention to it, just do it casually as you're talking, all right? So um, what you're gonna say is, the reason why I use aces is because, and as I'm gesturing and talking, I'm just pushing over a card, gonna break under that top card, which is their card, all right? So, see, the reason why I use aces is you come over like this, and then you pick everything up in middle grip like this, all right? So that card is secretly stolen under the aces. You see, the reason why I use aces is because two of them are the same color as your card, but only one of them is the same suit. And what I've just done there is uh, kept the ace of spades face up on top while secretly getting their card face down on the side of the aces. So how does that work? Well, it's like this. You have your break, and as you're talking and gesturing, saying the reason why I use aces, blah, 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 you're peeling them, and you're going to keep a break under the second one, all right? So you're like this, keeping a break under the second ace that's being peeled. So you're going one, two, three, four, and you just put the double 
on top as you pick up everything above the brake as you wrist kill it, right? So you can't flash that obviously. So you just take that away as you wrist kill the deck like this. Now you just take the box and say, look, well, I'll get to the uses here in a minute and just put them down, put the box on top, all right? So now you say, look, think about uh, think about the ace that's the same color as your card. Now you're saying this, obviously you don't flash that bottom card. Now you're saying this because you cut about a quarter of the deck into your hand like this with a swing cut. So just think about the color of your card, you know, sort of wave the deck around the box like this. Think about the suit of the card. Think about the ace that matches the suit and focus on that ace, all right? Just focus on the ace that matches the suit of your card and you're like this. And all that cutting does, I mean, it, it it's just part of the effect, part of the presentation. But really what you're doing is just centralizing that reverse card, right? That reversed A. So you're sort of like doing this to get a sense of what their card is or what the ace they're thinking about is. But really the reason why you're doing this so you can centralize that uh, that card. You see, I don't know why, but I'm getting a strong feeling that you're thinking about the ace of spades right now, am I right? And they'll freak out. So, yeah, that is right. How'd you know that? And so you say, look, if I just do this one more time, just like that, I can get one card face down in the middle of the deck just like that. Let's take a look what the card is. And look, you look at it and say, oh wait, that's weird. You're thinking of the ace of spades, aren't you? Well, that's weird because that is the ace of spades, which should be over here, under here, or under the box the whole time, in between these aces is one card. What was your card, the three of spades? Boom, there it is. All right, guys, so as always, I really appreciate you taking the time add your day to watch this video. It does mean the world to me, it really does. Honestly, that might have seemed sarcastic, but I really am humbled and grateful for all of you who watch my videos and help me out uh, along the way. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.